Hello there, and welcome to the stream. Today we are going to play some Titan Quest with a new character. Well, the situation... Okay, I'll try to describe it briefly. Uh, unfortunately, my main SSD has died, and I'm trying to recover some data from it. Including Exiled Kingdom save files. So we'll see. I hope that everything will be okay, but for the next few days we'll be playing Titan Quest. Well, with the character we'll create right now. Let's go with our dark and unique color. Let's create our character. And as usual, let's watch the starting scene. The, the starting cinematic. Let's go. One day, the sun will dim and spread a shadow over the earth. Temples, which have stood forever, will be destroyed. The heavens will vanish, and the gods will fall upon the earth. One day the weak will have power over the strong. The poets will stop singing, and instead take up the sword. It is in these darkest times that the strongest of heroes are born. Alright, and here we go with our new character. Well, I think that I'll skip all you these dialogues until we are in Egypt. You must let that flower horse help me, my poor satyr, satyr. That will definitely save us some time. All right, the horse is saved. You saved my horse. That horse is the just go down there. Normally we would say that. Speak with speak with diabetes. Speak with diabetes. Okay. Where is he? We should be able to find him easily. The men of this village enter traveler and well enter traveler and the waters with it drink from a drink from a different fountain. And there, there he is. Oh, you! What became of Heracles? What became of Heracles? You ask. Hello, stranger. We barely have met. our farmers are please. Just over the bridge. Just over the bridge. Okay, I think that I'll mention that at the very beginning of this playthrough at level 1. We are going to play this hardcore, so if the character dies, that's it. That's the end of his road, that's the end of this playthrough. And, well, I think that it's quite easy to understand. This is our first character, so he's going to play solo self-found.
That means that we'll use only those items we are going to find. Oh, that's bad. That's a lot of piggies, and we don't have any healing potions. Actually, we've lost quite a lot of experience from that. Out there, don't go unprepared. It is not safe. Buy what you need here. Let's buy a few of those. Buy, my friend. Oh, I didn't expect to aggro all of them. A lot of piggies. Harvest time, the whole village. All the knights. What drives these? It was three nights here in Helos. Even the animals of the wild. Even the animals of the wild have turned again. Oh, we are getting really lucky with those. How are they called again? Relic shards. With those relics. We are not even level 2, but we have two of them already. Let me clear all of those crows and satyrs. Good. Let's actually take this buckler. It seems that we cannot use it, unfortunately. Yeah. Some strength required for that. Okay. So, as I believe you can see in the video description, in the name of this video, we are going to play as a druid that's storm mastery plus nature mastery it's the combination and i've really enjoyed our fast start with nature so yeah to save some time we're going to grab those wolves call of the wild we'll go doggos It was very easy in fa and fast. Well, until it was very hard. And our doggos were like 2 3 shotted by Minotaur. But who cares? There is an NPC in this game that can. Well, reset your skill point. Skill points. So we should be fine. We'll take doggos. We'll level up quickly with those. And this guy just doesn't want to die. And after I feel that's a right moment to respect, we'll do it. What a tough guy. I actually wonder what he was wearing. 
only yellow items. Plus health. Energy regeneration and plus health. Movement speed. Oh, that's really nice. Alright. Hmm. I feel like we should pump our intelligence to be able to wear this stave. And actually, uh, there is this button, pet attack. And you see it's quite slow, so our character should make a move before our doggo change changes its target. I've looked at the options of this game at the key binding section. And yeah, I have remapped that character reset key. Not to press it anymore. Well, and without any int intention. So there was a button. Select all pets. I've assigned that to F. I don't know, perhaps that's not the best button for it. But with that button, I can instantly change my Dogo's well, position and target. So perhaps it's better to use this one. Let me check if everything is okay with the stream. One second, please. Stats. All right, it seems that we are fine. Yep, let's continue. You defeated the powerful shaman? Yep. Thank you again. Please bring work. Go now. Go now. And you have saved our farms. You have our you have our days. Hello there. We'll need this one. We won't need this buckler. Which one is better? This one. And we'll take those with movement speed, of course. Good. Until next time. A good day to you. So long. I want you to know. I think I will have. No I will make an. In harvest season, our village is a. Thank you, traveler. Thank. Oh, actually, perhaps that's a good strategy to activate this portal right away. The first time you enter this city. These shrines, a very few, a very few still. So you can teleport here from the you have shaman. Our thanks. May her yes. Make haste travel. Go safely. Go safely. Actually F is not the best button for that. Hmm. Key binding. Let's let's try V. Toggle voice chat. Well, that's not needed here. Yeah, V is definitely much better. Okay. Hey you, give me the You're quest. Flux. How have we offended? You won't find me. They jumped out at us first. The it is too dangerous. It is too dangerous to leave. All right.
Well, we already know that our first, well, let's say 10 levels should be very easy. So we can just sit back and relax. Because we have the that doggo. Now we have only one. Later we'll have more. And let's hope that this time we will manage to find some mystery shrines. With Master Shrines we can, with the effect of at least one Master Shrine, with uh, Call of the Wild maxed, we can summon three Dogos with skill level 20. Almost level 3. Almost. We'll be able to use that stuff. Good. Intelligence. Okay, that's just enough. And what do we need for that? Dexterity and Intelligence. Hmm. Okay, we'll get those stats from the Mastery Bar. Okay. That should do. Another relic shard. Oh, experience shrine. That's good. That's what we need to level up. So yeah, great. Leather Greaves of Travel. Another item with movement speed bonus. I believe our item is better. Our footwear that we already have. Well, that one that we have and cannot wear, unfortunately. But that's totally okay, we'll be able to do it soon. And let's send our doggo forward to aggro all of those satyrs. These creatures, I am Telus. If you see Nick, if you see Nicostra. So, yeah, as I've said, our plan is to get to level. 8, grab the Storm Mastery, and 
How shall we get to the town that has that skill trainer? I believe he's called Mystic. We'll reset our skill points. I I think that we'll get rid out of Dogos. And it will become well, a spellcaster, basically. That's at least my plan for now. Telus still alive? I can hardly believe my ears. I had given up. Thank you, warrior. Thank you. You You're saved welcome. the life of my friend. You saved the life of my friend. Oh, I thought that will get something. With those monsters everywhere, you better get some quality weapons and armor. We don't need that. Strength. Hmm. No. No. Yes. Perhaps. It would be nice to find some items. Like rings. Oh, like this one, but I d unfortunately I don't have enough gold to buy it. Until next time. There are staves, rings, amulets that have bonuses to pets. At least those I've seen and those I remember myself. Have I used? Oh, I haven't used it. I'm pretty sure that sh there should be like all the pieces of gear with that bonus. Perhaps some items have bonus resistances to pets, for pets, and some items have something like attack speed for pets, but I don't remember any of those. Anyways, I don't think that will be a pet master, a summoner here. Anyways, we won't be using that Dogo for a long time. Well, that's the initial plan. Thank you for your thank you for your help. By the way, this time, if you've noticed, we are getting purple and damage numbers. And our staff is dealing fire damage. So perhaps that purple color means elemental damage. I have quite a lot of health. 
double the amount we had at level 1. Do I have any items with health bonus? Oh, this ring, 77. That's a lot. Even our champion didn't have that. Okay, a lot of items with health. With health bonuses. Level 4. That's great. Let's invest two points into the doggo and one point into the mastery bar. Oh, and I finally can equip those those leggings. Actually, I don't remember at, at what level we can summon two of those doggos. It should be somewhere around level 7. Traveler, please. You without this man, news of Satan. If you could clear the if you could clear the pass ahead, I would be forever grateful. Okay, let's beat the big chunky boy. The Satyr brute. Yep, that one. Oh, and he has that fire buff. And he has a lot of regeneration. Hmm. Alright, let's try to face him like a man. The way is clear? Good. Well, now I can make now I can make the journey. Oh, yeah. a really nice armor with a lot of bonuses to regeneration. And actually, have I resummoned my Dago? Don't forget to resummon it after you level up the skill.
Oh, a mastery shrine. That's really nice. I feel like we'll try to get to level 5 first. Then we'll invest all of our skill points into Dogus. Into Call of the Wild skill. After doing that, we'll activate the Mastery Shrine. And I hope that we'll be able to get to summon two Dogos of a pretty high level compared to the level of local mobs, of local enemies. I feel like the Mastery Shrine is the best shrine for a low-level summoner. Actually, I completely forgot that you can just press and hold the mouse button instead of clicking it constantly. I, I would go after the beat. It was dark. How can I go home? How can I get back? How can I get back the doubt? Another mastery shrine. Oops. Perhaps if we had that during our champion playthrough, he wouldn't have died fighting a Minotaur. If we had three level 20 Dogus helping us. Okay, two summon limits. When that happens. Okay, that happens at level 2. Oh, at level 7, excuse me, of the Call of the Wild skill. So yeah, at level 7 you can summon two of those. That's great. Actually, I think we'll... Yeah, I have a really great plan. We'll leave that... Master Shrine. We'll leave it intact, we won't grab the bonus. We'll leave it for later. When we get our Dogus to level 16, when we max them, we're going to, well, teleport back to that shrine. We're going to activate it, and we're going to summon three Dogus. Actually, I think I can even, even open a teleport over there. Like, open a portal. And then, without any problems, we'll be able to teleport over there.
Let's go to the portal. Oh, to the shrine, I mean, to the mastery shrine. All right. Let's open a portal. Well, I won't be able to sell all of those yellow items to the trader. But I believe that is going to save us quite a lot of time. We have level 13 Dogus now. They shouldn't have any problems with local enemies, with harpies and satyrs. Okay, level 9 Piggy. And it's gone. Also, we'll fight some undead, undead enemies now. We'll see how our Dogus. We'll hold on against those. They should be totally fine. Well, unless there are a lot of leeches that are going to deal a lot of elemental damage. All right, it was easy. You can't carry you have no more room. You can't carry any more. That's bad. Let's see. Okay, I don't think that I'm going to use any of those items. We can actually Yeah, do something like that. You can't carry any more. I feel like the next character we are going to play we will have the rune mastery. I'm very curious to test it. From what I can tell, after I read the, well, the class description, the you have no more room. description of its skills, I think that should be a pretty decent elemental damage dealer. Poison resistance, more armor, and some health regeneration. Let's take it. Alright. Let's continue. Go, go, doggos. Another mastery shrine. I don't know. 
I feel like I'm getting trolled by this game as well. That's just not fair. Alright, I believe our Dogus have managed to last in that brood. So we got some experience. General Leonidas, I told you, I told you, he's in the camp. He stands, let me be, stranger. No. Let me be, stranger. Hold it there. Normally you... If. Return to me... Return to me only when you... I tell you, strange. We know not where. It's true they may be. I've been in wars. I walk with dawn. If this plague of beasts per... If this plague... I'll tell you the truth. The old souls... I can't wait to start the... I'll tell you. This... I know it's awful. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm busy enough. Finally, it's way down. Hurry, what do you want? We don't need that, that, and that. Yeah, that's too much strength. Bye. I won't be able to get that much even with the bonuses from equipment. What? Let's have a look. Oh. And it's very cheap actually. Let's buy it. 2k gold, that's like nothing. I want to have some items here. Good. And how... I would like to test it. So now we'll check how much damage our Dogo is doing. And... I think the that Santo boss will be a nice testing dummy. If I look, to be honest, to be honest... All right. Oh, I believe that's our first piggy rider that we've met. Hmm, now let's invest into... Uh, yeah, into those doggos. Level 12. And I don't know what level... Perhaps they're level... Hmm. They should be level 13, right? I was taking a... The pious is you should be careful. I'm quite... I'm quite alright. Okay, let's see. 21, 40, 60. No, that's hard to say. We need a real testing dummy.
Okay, let's try to get his attention. Okay, okay, okay. We run away now, we run away now, we run away now. And we attack him. Let's attack those centers first. Okay, 46, 31, 47, 25, 28, 38. Yeah, I believe that our bonus supplies. Oh no, we've lost a Dogo. Okay, the difference won't be that that big. There is only one level difference now between those two. So yeah, not a big deal, I believe. Stout stuff of foresight. Oh. You can't carry any more. I need that. Give me that, please. Can I can I equip it? You can't carry any more. Of course I cannot. Hmm. You can't carry any more. All right, let's return back to the camp. The Pelin of Ali lies behind you. If it's Leonidas you seek, you will find him back in the Spartan camp. Seek Leonidas. Seek Leonidas. Yep, that's what we're going to do now. We could have, yeah, we could have left a portal over there. near the entrance to the next location, but unfortunately, if we do that, we'll lose our portal to the mastery shrine. That's not good. There is a mastery shrine quite close to the Spassen War camp. So yeah, we'll use that one. Stone hammer. Hmm. Oh, training dummies. Can I see my pet's damage? Hmm. That's like almost impossible to compare. Let's try with one Dogu. 59, 66. Okay, I would say somewhere around 65. That's the average. Okay, yeah, the difference is like obvious. And now let's switch back. Okay, good. So the bonuses apply instantly to the pets. Okay, now I know more. Don't tell me. Come on. It's another shrine of mastery. This game just trolls me.
Okay, I think that we won't spare those this time. There is no point in doing that. Okay, let's complete those quests. First we thought our enemy stemmed from Yeah yeah yeah. This one was the most Good. Let's sell all of those unnecessary what? items. A nice hammer, but not this time. Hmm. No. Energy. I don't need energy, so let's get that one with intelligence. And let's see what we have here. Hmm. We're going to sell this one. Are there... Okay, some elemental damage for our pets. Oh, this one is great. Physical damage for pets. Any better rings? What? Use attribute on skill points. Okay, game. I remember. Okay, this one. Oh, well, this one is too expensive. Okay, that's good enough. Right. That's good enough. So go on, don't go on, don't make him wait. So you're the go now. I said go. I said go. One skill point. Okay, that's that's just great. When we hit level seven, we'll be able to max our doggos. Let's use that first Mastery Shrine. This one. One Dago. What level is this kill? It's level 17. Oh. <laughs> At least now I know. Uh, what level is the threshold to be able to summon three Dogus? It's level 18. It's even written over here. Hmm. The damage, it, it like it doesn't grow. All right. The chance to dodge increases. Their health and armor. I believe they increase as well. Mm. Good morning, friend. We shall see you again, I hope. I can ease your load. Okay, let's put those. Player level 8 and player level 11. Oh, that, that won't happen you. soon. And to the Sparta we go. Okay, let's clear clear this black patch on the map, and we'll be good to go. Some piggies? Oh, <laughs> never mind.
Okay, the only thing left to do is to find a second ring with bonus physical damage for our doggos and an amulet perhaps that would be really nice as well Give me just a second, please. Okay. We are good to go. Let's continue. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely remember that there was a cave here. Hello there, welcome to the stream. Well, I'm afraid to spell your name incorrectly. Is is that Bosco? Uh, does this game randomly generate world and loot? Um, well, the world is set. The world is set, but the loot and enemies are generated randomly. So, like, you have the same map every and uh, each time. For example, like in Diablo 3. I guess. Or Sacred, if you have played that. But, like, types of enemies in a certain location, it's set, it's fixed. So here we have satyrs. Well, and some animals like boars, harpies, crows. But the exact enemy, if that's a shaman or if that, if that a boar rider or something like that. It's generated randomly, their quantity and their type. It's a really good game, although it's quite old. I haven't played it in a while. But yeah, it's a good one. I'm not sure I cannot tell you anything about the newest DLCs that were released like even this year or a few months ago yeah i don't remember its name unfortunately eternal sense or something like that i can tell you cannot tell you about that or ragnarok and atlantis but like the base go uh, game is definitely very good Although it's old, it was released somewhere around 2006 and the next year, that means I believe 2007, there was the first DLC released to that. Basically this game received a facelift that base game and DLC were combined together 
And yeah, that's the Titan Quest Anniversary Edition right now. And yeah, if you are a fan of mobile games, if of mobile gaming. Quite recently they have released a mobile version of Titan Quest. But definitely this game has its own charm and... Well, I feel very nostalgic yes, have a look. here. The, the setting is very nice. So we have Greek, you have Asian and Egyptian mythologies, as well as some Nordic mythology that's in the Ragnarok DLC. I don't know if you have heard about Grim Dawn game. It's basically, well, a very improved in terms of mechanics version of Titan Quest. Okay, let's grab that altar. Level 20 doggos, let's go. One. Yeah, I feel like I'll manage to summon three of those in time. Yeah, I think so. Two. And one more left. Come on. And three. Yep, that's great. Now we have maxed out Doggos. Oh, right. <laughs> I've made quite a huge mistake. Magic equipment for sale. All right, we will have to do some running. Let's check out if we have some better gear here. Well, it's almost the same thing. We don't need that. Good day. Thank you. And let's continue pumping that intelligence. Give me just a second. All right. Let's continue. Oh, we've missed some satyrs. Oh, a Shrine of Experience. That's good. And that's our first blue item. What's that? 
storm strike a bow with physical and lightning damage well unfortunately we will won't be able to use that at least to its full potential I think I was always quite skeptical about well class combinations that at the first glance won't be synergistic enough like some magical school the storm mastery for example we are going to take that and Hunting, for example. So, in the Hunting Tree, you get bonuses to Pierce damage, to, well, perhaps some physical damage, and what else? Perhaps some bleeding damage. And how would you combine that with with cold, storm, like lightning damage. Well, perhaps I'm wrong and you can make a really strong class with that. You can't carry you no more room. Okay, now now I'm not afraid to lose my portal anymore. Can we fit something else? Hmm. You can't carry any more. Okay. What? Do you want to sell me another beast colors ring? Oh, you do. That's good. Unfortunately, I'll lose quite a lot of health. 77 is really a lot now. Hmm. Good day. Okay, I believe only the necklace left. But even now, being level 20 doggos <laughs> against low level creatures, they shouldn't have any problems. Actually, at our next level, we'll be able to peak our second mastery. I don't actually know if I should do that right away. Well, our dogos actually are already leveled. Your inventory is full. So I suppose we can't take it. Oh, yeah, a piggy charm. An experience shrine, that's great. I suppose there should be something like a war camp somewhere around. 
let's try to find it. Perhaps I'm mistaken. Hmm. Oh, there is. Let's go. Let's go, doggos. Okay, a lot of experience. That's good. <laughs> and I've managed to get my doggos close to the to the shrine of thorns, so they were able to get that buff as well that damage retaliation. Perhaps it's piercing damage, right? Damaging any enemies foolish enough to attack. Well, I believe so, Jagged Thorns. Sounds like pierce damage type to me. Hmm. Let's actually wear this one. Health regeneration. Sounds good to me. Health would be better. Okay, we have two rings, right? It would be very nice to get the exactly same ring, the Beast Colors ring, but like Beast Colors ring of Endurance with health bonus. Alright, not this time. Let's set all of our doggos to aggressive mode. Like that. Second skill mastery. Oh, and that piggy. second skill mastery. Okay, let's take it. And... Hmm. Let me see. Oh, that's just perfect. Have a look here. Yeah, just like that. Let's activate the aura. So our doggos have more speed. More movement speed, more attack speed. Well, perhaps even more casting speed. And now I think we'll start leveling up the Storm Mastery Tree.
Let's grab that loot we've missed. Well, it's hard to miss it. If nothing drops. Okay, this section, this area is cleared. The water by our village with the village spring tank with the village spring tainted. Actually, there are a lot of zombies over, the, over there. So we'll miss a lot of experience if we won't stop them ourselves. Those greedy guardians of this little village. We'll get I used to sell all of our experience. To farmers, but since the monsters, it's been swords and shields, greaves and spears. We can no, we cannot allow that to happen. Any good amulets? Artemis guide you. All right, that's definitely a no. I am a naiad. This, if the spiders are a naiad, is a water spirit. As long as the as long as the spider. Majestic chest, good. Give me something blue. Okay. Plus attack speed. No, I lose too much health. I think that's a bad idea to equip those. Okay, quest spiders. Our first green item. Your inventory is full. Yeah, it's definitely full. Let's teleport to Sparta War Camp. What? 
Oh. 49. Hey, gold. And a useless strength bonus. Okay, I think we are going to buy that. The stronger are our doggos, the better. But once again, I'll lose some health because of that. An enchant shields only. Hmm, it looks like a decent charm for retaliation or damage reflection build. This one is good. Can we buy that helmet? Forty eight K, I have twenty. That's thirty, thirty four. No, I don't think so. Goodbye. Okay, we'll find a better one then. Only chest, good. It's not as good as the as the majestic one, if I recall correctly. the shrine of experience all the time here and I've missed it okay but we'll get more experience now you have cleansed the thank you thank you Unfortunately, I haven't managed to kill a lot of enemies with that buff from Experience Shrine active. Well, at least we've got some bonus experience from the quest. Forgot something? I believe that should work that way. That should like affect uh, that experience we are getting from the quests. Farewell. I sing now. So are we, stranger. News from all you know, it was not. I have lived here. All we made off, may safety and fortune. Follow. 
Anche Graveyard. Okay, we've killed that captain, and now we need to kill another one. And another one. And a leech now. Good. I don't want my doggos to be hit with fire damage. Hello. Artemis guide you. Actually, we haven't leveled up in a while. Okay, let's kill that assassin first, then leech. There was a boss right here. Like a champion mob. Or perhaps that was in a different dungeon, I don't... I'm not sure about that. Rainpost of Endurance. Hmm, that's good. 64 points of health. Yep, there he is. Laymon the Vengeful zombie hero. Goodbye. You have no you more can't room. hold anymore. Yeah, it seems they are not kidding about that. Okay, we are level 9. We've managed to get a uh, level up. So we can either get our nature mastery to level 10 and grab survival instinct. Or we can start leveling the storm mastery. Okay, let's let's put some points into the storm mastery. Earth, storm, nature, and spirit. This help to all.
good day. Actually, I would like uh, the loot to drop faster out of those sepulchers. Like nothing from four of them. the Shrine of Mastery. Let me think, do I need to use it? I don't think so. Perhaps if our Dogus had that skill, this one, so I will instinct, perhaps yeah, then it would make sense. Alright, that's the next area, so let's return back. We are not done here yet. The Shrine of Battle. You can't carry any more. Magic equipment for sale.
Actually, the sorceresses are quite dangerous for our doggos. Well, for us as well. We are even more fragile than those wolves. Where did uh, that turtle go? And let's return back to clear those mobs that we might left behind. Okay, we've left none of them. That is good to know. Oh. some loot. Arcane formula, Ember no Flask. Oh, come on. We have only one slot left. Alright. Yes, have a look. Anything good? Hmm, this one looks good. Intelligence, energy, energy leech. Yeah, perhaps this one is not bad. But we have such a staff, although it it has fire damage as its base damage. Amber flask, piercing damage, poison resistance, defensive ability, attack speed.
That's for someone that deals fierce damage. Well, at least any physical damage type. There should be a cave somewhere around here. Okay. I was, t was starting to have some doubt about that. And not we're going to hit level 10 soon. Oh, a champion bat. Leather win. No drops, unfortunately, from that bat. And... And yeah. We've got only one blue item. I believe it's time for another one to drop. Why not? Have I missed anything? Mm, no. Good. Okay, we've hit level M. So let's see. Actually, does it... Does the skill apply to my pets? Oh yeah, bonus to all pets. I'm blind. Chance of one of the following to call damage. 1 to 11 lightning damage. Yeah, that's a thing with the lightning damage in this game. It's quite... You know, the difference between the minimal and maximum damage is quite high. Okay, let's take it, why not? One more buff. Hmm, unfortunately I don't see it here. Like the heart of the oak. Okay, let's hope it works. Just are spacious and secure. And what's that? Well, no, we won't use it now. Good day, then. I don't think there's 
Yeah, there's basically no Truth point. Is, the ship was bearing go. We washed the ship. I'd have returned to the beach. Old sailors. The Halcyon coast. The Halcyon coast lies between. Our dogus do. Sword and shield, not your style. Most of the damage. What you're looking for here. Okay, any better rings? Oh, amulets, perhaps. Yes, a good day. So, the United is doing the Oracle of Delphi. Oh, that's so great. Extra in on the space. Oracle. Seek the Oracle in Delphi. That's great. We've got troubles. The dead raise the dead raise their hand. Everyone's talking. Yes. Yes, all the loose, the three princes, each mess could the old tank could the old Yes, I found out. Let's go. Let's actually pay attention. Okay. I think that 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 wolf. Yeah, I definitely can see some lightning and cold damage over there. Some cold and lightning damage being dealt to those manats. So although it doesn't doesn't show right right here the that spell, it's not there like heart of the oak. It still actually works. That's good to know. And we'll leave this altar of mastery. Just in case one of our dogus dies. Of course, we don't want that to happen. And I think that won't happen for quite a while. Actually, I don't even know why I'm constantly switching the loot filter. Perhaps because it doesn't feel reliable to me. I have a strong feeling that it wants to hide more items than it actually should hide. I don't trust him. Okay, we are done here. Unfortunately not. Yeah, almost nothing yellow dropped. And I think that dungeon full of undead enemies as well as three undead princes Waits for us now. Those aggressive doggos have found someone. I haven't even seen him. At least, most likely, with these dogs, I won't get ambushed. I see a majestic chest over there. Let's hope that we'll get something. Come on. <laughs> A 
let me check my gear actually. Le required level, player level, level 3, level 3, 8, 3, 3, 3, 3, and 3. Perfect. Perfect gear for a level 10 character. Let's, let's send our Dogus forward. Oh, and that was it. That was that on that prince. Get wrecked. Oh, a trap. Mechanical pot. Okay, that's the second prince. Oh, it's dead too. Now he's dead dead. Double dead. You can't carry any Okay, now we have... Okay, we've assembled something. Perhaps this, this, yeah. Essence of the Golden Fleece. Cat enchant torso armor only. Minus energy cost and plus intelligence. Not bad. Perhaps we'll... We'll even use it. Hmm. We just need to find... Better gear, better armor pieces. Certainly. Oh, stop. Plus 102 health. Okay, give me that back. And what do I need for that? Some dexterity. Okay, it's on its way. And that's a battle better socklet. More regeneration. We'll take that. Anything good? Hmm. Oh, like elemental resistance and elemental damage and damage reflected. Actually, I don't even remember if that damage reflected stat was in the game before. Yes, a good day. Let's put it into the into that chest. And let's put all of those relics into the relic vault. Alright. Your goods are safe with me. Let's teleport back to that dungeon. What? Oh, there was a small demon over here. I tell you, those doggos know what they are doing. Okay, let's kill that captain first. Good, and... Yeah, great. 
because those captains they're quite dangerous for us because of their uh, because of their buff oh what oh there was that archer skeleton all right the quest is done the undead princess are killed Some spiders. Anything else? Spiders, spiders. Yeah, very bad game for people with arachnophobia. That's for sure. Or perhaps I'm wrong and that's like a good therapy session. Anyone else over here? Some more spiders. It was a fit. You should have seen it. Three yeah, and actually, I'm very curious if this bridge will be ever fixed. Perhaps this was added with the new DLCs. I will be quite pleasantly surprised. And nothing. Okay, we have another small chest over here. That's a shame. We've only got like one blue item and one or two green items. And we are level 10 right now. Well, perhaps that's not that bad. Give me just a second, please. I want to make sure if everything is okay with the stream, that we don't have any dropped frames or anything like that.
All right, I believe we are good. We've had a quest here. Hello there, Tate. It all looks okay. Oh, it all looks okay. Thank you. Thank you for telling me that. No, no, I've managed to understand. Thanks for telling me that. I appreciate it. A turtle shell. Welcome to the stream, by the way. And level 11. Let me check if I haven't missed anything. Okay, we've killed everyone. And what do we have here? Hmm. I believe we keep pushing the storm mastery. Yeah, we don't need anything here yet. Thanks, I'm from Germany. <laughs> well, no, I'm not. Oh, a second green item. You have no more room. Do I sound like a German? Certainly. Denmark, Denmark here. It sounds like it's oh. No, 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 that's fine. I'm... I'm from Ukraine. Oh, and what was that? <laughs> Actually, it has always surprised me when I was speaking, well, with some guys in Discord like they they can differentiate from from what western europe country you are only judging by your accent and most of the times they were correct well perhaps that guy had quite a lot of experience A good day. What Titan Quest are you playing now? Um, what do you mean? Uh, what Titan Quest? It's a Titan Quest from Steam, the Anniversary Edition. 
with all the DLCs installed. Well, if you mean that. It's like no mods, no anything like that. Uh, Ragnarok, perhaps. Uh, yeah, it's installed. Atlantis, uh, Ragnarok, and... Uh, there was another one. Ethanol Sands, or something like that. So, like, all of the DLCs are installed. And yeah, that's like the very beginning of the game. The first difficulty level. Well, I haven't played this game like for a lot of years. I've played it when I was a child. It was like Titan Quest, plus the Immortal Throne DLC, that's... Well, that's what Anniversary Edition is. Basic, uh, base version of the game, plus the Immortal Throne DLC. Oh, you too? Actually, have you played the... Like Atlantis, Ragnarok, and the latest uh, DLC. I have heard some mixed reviews uh, about those. I haven't played them yet myself. Are they any good? Oh, that's our our second item, second blue item, Theban Kiras. Oh, 133 strength required. No, unfortunately that's not going to happen. That's too much strength. I'm playing Ragnarok, but I'm not fine oh, in the game. Well, as I've said, I've heard some mixed reviews. Some of those were... Some of those guys were really excited about the new DLCs. And... Some of them... Well, let's say they had some problems, some troubles with that. Something about something like bad sound acting, bugs, also I believe someone told me that uh, the loot system is broken. and all that stuff. But at least I think that they haven't touched anything in the, well, base version of the game. So we should be totally fine until then.
and what class are you playing? Because, well, I've created a champion, a warfare mastery plus a nature mastery mix. Uh, but unfortunately, my SSD has died. You can't hold any more. So that's why I've started all over again today. I have to go to work tomorrow, so bye for now. Oh. I think that's a really strong class, if I recall correctly. Yeah, have a do have a good day tomorrow. Goodbye. Something else? Oh, goodbye. Can I help you? Elemental resistance experience gained. Sounds good. Oh, 143 strength. Not happening. Definitely not. Yeah, that's a good one. A good chest piece. Okay, let's look at in our inventory. Yes, oh, in our storage. Welcome. A fine what? Again. Oh, yes. That was the wrong guy. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look. Perhaps we'll manage to buy something good here intelligence plus plus some damage to pets i would buy it if it was health instead of intelligence that's all then good day Oh, and now we can even use this stuff. We won't, but Your we can. Goods are safe with me. We'll leave it for later. More intelligence. Good. Oh, and I don't have any available skill points. Oh, yeah, and this quest is done now. So the skeletons in future time... You have put an end to a great evil. Yep, we have. Oh, and there was another quest. But I believe it's finished now, right? So you found the chests from the shipwreck? Yep. I'm impressed. Since you survived, I'd say you earned them. Good luck, traveler. And good luck to you as well. Well, I don't know when we are going to make a transition to a caster. And I even don't know if I should drop my doggos. They eat a lot of points, skill points, I mean, that's for sure. 
but they're dealing a lot of damage. I believe they were doing great until the Minotaur and then the next fight, uh, the fight with the lesser titan, the Telkin, they've just destroyed it. Well, there was a battle standard, but still. Sergus long strike. Oh, that's so cute. They were like, I've had a big eye above my character. Uh, that was that debuff. The hunter's eye. Yeah, I think that it's called that way. And those doggos, they they've had. A small eye against them, or well, small eyes. That's cute. I will try this buckler. Attack speed, physical resistance. Okay, I'll be done with everyone here. Hmm. Yeah, it seems so. Hello, Anobol Santo. Greetings, good traveler. What, are you surprised to find a centaur not crazed with war and hatred? My name is Chiron. I am pleased to meet you. You see, I have long dwelt. I know has not. I know has not come out of the cave.
Oh, actually, yeah, during our champion playthrough, well, a short one, but still a playthrough, uh, our doggos have managed to kill that Manart Priestess. Like in the beginning of the dungeon, somewhere around here. Perhaps that's be that's because I haven't like moved to her close enough to her to trigger the the script. My bow. Splendid. Warrior, you have my gratitude. Can you guess how old I am, young one? It is true. All manner of beasts. Thank you again, young warrior. Thank you again. And what actually have we got? A good Santo. Oh, two attribute points. That means more intelligence. Ah. And there was a fight going on here last time. A crack harpy. I see you've traveled right. a long road, stranger. Come have a look. Strength I and might health. Have something to suit your needs. Oh, the beats. Hmm. No, we don't need that. Oh, I don't think so. Safe travels. It well, it didn't have any useful stats for us. A blacksmith okay, a blacksmith. Yeah, I remember that quest. That guy Everywhere is very well hidden. Mm-hmm. I was on my way from I lost my I lost my possessions. Okay, and there is a hole in this. Well, I don't even know how I should call that. A leather wall. There was a hero monster. Santos. Yeah, I remember this place now. We are close to the olive grove, if I'm not mistaken. It should be right after this bridge. Right? Okay, right. 
That is my grove burning on the hill to reach the sacred olive tree. You must climb the hillside and walk through. I only in different time. Okay, and we have another spider here, a big one this time. Okay, <laughs> that was fast. And let's grab that olive oil branch. Oh, olive tree branch. There was something with uh, beast colors ethics. Beast colors beats. Okay. And. Hmm. Energy leech resistance, stun resistance, and some health regeneration. Stun resistance is here. Reduces the duration of stun attacks. Okay, let's wear it. And Biscola Scarf stuff. Do we need it? No. And we don't need those. Okay. Unfortunately, nothing useful this, this time as well. But we've got a level up. I think we'll keep pushing. We'll keep pushing the storm mastery. It gives you quite a lot of stats, and this Storm Mastery, it's one of the Masteries that provides you with the largest intelligence bonus. Well, it's one of the, if, if not the, like, the, the most intelligent Mastery, if we can say it like that. The tree is unharmed? Can Demeter bring you? I don't remember which one is better in terms of stats. Perhaps Spirit or Old Dream is better. But anyways, uh, Storm's damage is also very good. And why our Dogu is dying? Perhaps that's because of the... Because of that... Uh, Captain guy. A green item. I don't see it. Oh, perhaps that's... Yeah, that's a ring. And um, that's a pretty good one. We'll leave it. Perhaps we'll even use it later.
And yeah, those points, those skill points spawned into the mastery bar. Where is that? Into the mastery bar. They give us stats. Mostly intelligence in case of storm mastery. Some health. And mana. Well, here we got more dexterity. And more health, I believe, per level. How much do we get here? So it's 19, right? 19 health per level. Oh, and here we get 20. Almost no difference in terms of health bonus. I thought that nature had a larger health bonus. Well, we have Heart of, of Oak. One day we should be able to put more points into that skill. So that should fix our problems with hit points. And last time we visited uh, that cave, there was a very aggressive doggo over there. A very aggressive and a very strong one. We should be really careful this time. Because I believe we have less armor, less health. And yeah, perhaps that's the first place where our doggos, even being level 20 doggos, might die. Anyone? Any giant oh, doggos? Some giant doggos here? Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh. And that oath was it? Yep, hero monster killed. Sheesh. I don't know why, but that was You have no more room. You have no you more can't room. carry any more. That was easier, much easier than the last time. Perhaps I didn't have three level twenty doggos. Hmm. Okay. All right. We sell staffs of all varieties. We don't need that. Actually, perhaps I should have used it. Let's at least at least compare its DPS to well to our current DPS. Okay, it's a little bit more, but like it's negligible.
anything good here. Hmm. My pleasure. Let's hide the ring. Storage for the burden traveler. Oh. Yeah, let's use this one. I will feel safer. Your goods are safe with me. Certainly. That's all then? Okay, now I have almost 1k health. That's not a lot. Actually, I was really I was really afraid for a second because I thought there was one more demonic dog. That large one. Shadow Mo. It was called. So yeah, that second I was really afraid that I'll get my arse handed to me. Fortunately, that didn't happen. I wonder if the Dogo has any unique drops. Shaman's Rune Staff. Plus one to all skills and spirit mastery. That's a good staff. Unfortunately, we are not. We don't have spirit mastery. A piggy rider. They are so funny. Essence of Hermes Sandal. That should improve our movement speed, right? Yeah, can enchant leg like armor only. That's a good one. Many visitors. Greetings, how can I help you? Sell me something useful. How about that? Hmm.
At least I can sell some stuff here. Hey yo, hello Deli. Welcome. Welcome to the stream, Deli. So long. How are you doing over there with all of those earthquakes? I could finally free up time. How are you? Oh, yeah, I'm good. Thank you. I hope that you're doing good as well. We're doing nice, just positive. It's good. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, actually, by the way, I think that I haven't noticed, I haven't mentioned that today, but I've created a Discord channel. You can find a link to that in the description to this stream, to this video. So, yeah. Feel free to join the Discord server. It's still, like, in the process of making. I haven't created Discord servers before. It's very basic, it doesn't have a lot of channels. But still. And give me just some time. And... Yeah, I hope that it will... It uh, will look at least better. But I think that it should have everything it needs to have, like an announcement channel, where you'll be able to see stream announcements. There is a general channel where you can chat with other members. Yeah. That sounds good to me. Oh, a big spider. Delhi just joined this server. Welcome to Discord, Delhi. I'm telling you, this game wants to hide some stuff from me. A vitality damage spear. Did we change masteries? How so? Oh. Yeah, I've briefly described the situation at the beginning of the stream. Um, well, unfortunately, my 
SSD with the system, my system drive, has died. So we'll have some Python quest streams while I'm trying to recover some data, including Exiled Kingdom's data from it. I hope that it's not lost forever. That's because of those power spikes. Unfortunately, I don't have an UPS, so... Oh no. Yeah, sounds not good. But yeah, we have what we have. Anyways, we are trying to stay positive. Try to get it back. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, I've created a new character here in Titan Quest. I should have perhaps created a character with Rune, Mastery, or the other one, Naden. One of the new ones. But yeah, that will be our next character here. For now we have a druid. Oh, and we have some unused skill points. We are pumping the storm mastery. This one works very good. Yeah, I thought, well, I think that will make a caster out of him. Something like with eye shards, with squall, I don't know. This thing seems to be quite useful because of this buff. But for now, well, we are trying to level up our character. And we figured out that Dogos, yeah, they're doing great. Great job at the early stages of the game. So why not? Thank you. 
When the first my husband, my husband's shade. Actually, have I completed all the quests? All the additional ones. Yeah, I will complete this now. Uh, so, how much longer are I going to stream? Well, I believe actually that will be... We'll finish uh, the Oracle quest here. And yeah, that will be it for today. I sell to the wise and powerful. Are you sure you should be shopping here? Now we'll have, well, longer and longer streams at the weekends. Did it bro just roast you? Yeah, Bye. this guy. What is it? This guy is always quite aggressive towards your character. Good riddance. You again? Let's try to get riddance. that line again. What? Travel far. Yes. Good riddance. Something else. Okay, let's actually check if he has something useful. Well, if it was physical damage instead of vitality damage, I would buy it. Hmm. Not good. Travel far. Away from here. Sorry, only actors backstage. This door is locked. Oh, and that's that mystic, right? Yep. Untie the strands of fit. That will allow us to reallocate our skill points. For example, to drop those wolves. But we won't do that now. We still need them. They are still carrying us through the game. And Seeker, we thank you for your sacred offering. Enter and present And that bonus the yeah, is random, right? Plus five percent permanent poison resistance. And what did I actually get? last time. Actually, I believe that was poison as well. All right. Welcome, seeker. You warrior. Welcome, Oracle, with a pretzel. You I have given I have given my prophecy. You warrior are not what you see. Apollo guide you, seeker. Okay, should I keep this? Perhaps I should not. Safe journey. Blades, shields, potions, creep. Yeah, don't shout at me, please. All right, I believe that will be it for today. It's getting quite late at my place. So, as per usual, that's my character's build. All of our trade points, they went into intelligence. 
because yeah, we're going to make a caster. And this one, at least I suppose, is going to be an elemental damage dealer, lightning and cold damage mix, something like that. And we want to improve that as much as possible. But currently we are wearing a lot of items that have bonuses to pets. Because, well, those doggos, they are carrying us through the game. But yeah, definitely I need some better stuff. I'm going to be one shot at one point. And let's have a look at our skill points allocation. We have our doggos maxed. And we have one point into the Heart of Oak for extra health and total speed for our doggos. And here we have, well, mostly points put into the Storm Mastery Bar, as well as one point into the Storm Nimbus. Well, once again, to buff our doggos. Yeah, that's it for now. Alright guys, I really hope that you've enjoyed this first episode of our Hardcore Druid uh, playthrough. Uh, I would like to mention that we have Telegram and Discord channels where you can chat with the others and, uh, well, there you can get stream notifications and some news if something happens. So yeah, if you want to receive those, please join them. So now that was it for today. I want to thank you all guys for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Have a nice day.